What's up YouTube? Pilot83 here. And I'm going to do a tutorial in the Britain Norman BN2 Islander. Show you how to do a cold and dark start in this plane. Show you a little bit of autopilot. So let's get to it. What is all that? Oh, fill truck. So. To start this bad baby girl, first, if you did not know, you could open these doors oh, by clicking these. Voila. And now, when you look at this beautiful girl, you see, we got the suitcases in the back and everything. She's looking good. Get back inside here. All right, shut all that. Now, <laughs> she always scares me. Let's get to it. So, this might not be 100% correct. I am not a pilot of a Islander. I've never flown one. But this is pretty close, I believe, if not correct, and definitely works. So, battery. We'll go and turn on our generators. Uh, we could turn on our external power if we need to, but I never have needed to, so. Not worry about that. We'll turn on our magnetos. One and two. We'll turn on our standby magnetos. Make sure that our fill valves on left and right are open. Make sure that our fill selectors are assigned to a tank. We got left tank, right tank. Go ahead and turn on our avionics master. All right. And then from there, open this. Then we'll go to the right. Then we will go to the left. Put that back down. Go and turn on our lights. It's a little dark out here. Well, not dark, but getting there. So we'll go and turn on some instrument lights. I got a feeling. ATC, try to do a pushback. I knew it. Oh, I hate that. All right, guys, and I got a video of how to work this on my channel. So if you are not familiar with how to work this, be sure to search for the video on the GNS 430 and 530, and I will and I walk you through how to use most of the features inside of this GPS. So he goes, wait, we can go ahead and set that to GPS. We can go ahead and set up a quick little flight plan. So we can go to direct to. Click this. Go to the big wheel. Oh, nope. This one's a little bit different with how it reacts to the mouse. It's called small wheel, then big wheel. Put in your airport that you want to go to. Say K P N S, which would be y'all know my standard, my Pensacola.
There you go. And then once you're there. We can scroll on down. Come on, baby. Why are you giving me trouble? There it goes. To activate. Ah, go back. There we go. Enter. Now we have the flight path here to Pensacola. And then from there we can go to flight plan. Hit menu. We can scroll down to select approach. Hit enter. And then we could choose our approach, choose our runway. So say ILS 17, that'll work. And then we could choose our transition. I like to do Pensy. Enter, enter for load. You now that's all set up and in there. So now when we go to flight plan. Y'all can see this. We're going to come up, then come back down through here. Have this on GPS. All right. Now let's get in the air and go over a little autopilot. Go ahead and depart. Park and brake off. I got ACT, I got ATC turned off, so that's why we're not hearing them. I don't want them bugging over me when I'm trying to show stuff. Uh, main light, do those. Well, I thought I had them on taxi. I guess I did not. We'll put them on land for takeoff. Just so you can see it. Bam. All right. Okay. Let's do it. You said we got a vehicle on the road straight ahead. Of this plane flaps up. All right, so now we.
we come over here, go to autopilot, click nav, and now we're going to start intercepting our flight plan. Auto hold mode on. We can select our altitude. Let's let's go say four thousand feet. See we're rising up. If we want to get there faster, we can go to Our vertical speed right here. Put that up and down. You, you can arm it. There we go. Turn altitude off. You can do it. Set your vertical speed. You can arm it. Then go up to 4,000 feet. Our altimeter here. Set our bar We're trying to set our barometer. Okay, if you look right here, you'll see that we are on our flight path. Following it just fine. Go ahead and slow down a little bit here. Go a little too fast. Let's plain. All right. You wanted to follow a uh, heading in this plane. Come over here to your heading and you can set your heading to whatever you wanted it to be. Say 21 degrees and then we could click heading. Nav off. Heading on. We can start moving this the plane you see will start going to the direction of this so you follow that heading get back on our path though just turn that off put back on nav get back on course Got our radio frequencies here. Our nav frequencies. But you'll also see these up here. And we can switch between these, which one we want. Then we have, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Our transponder right here. Oh, I'm sorry. Right here is our transponder, not this. 
transponder here. 1200, which is general code for aviation. Great, she'll fly herself. This here shows us uh, the amount of time we have left till we get to our destination. 19 minutes, the distance we're away, 19.1 miles. Ah! Love that. Your de ice. Then we got prop de ice, airframe de ice, pilot heat. We got windscreen heat. Yeah, airframe de ice. Let me. We, with those black boots, they're on the wings. I don't think this one has a Look like they're still kind of simulated. Where it pushes the ice off. They like fill it with air and push the ice off the leading edge of the wing. Yeah, this great plane, guys. Great plane. See, she's flying so steady right now on autopilot. Flying perfect. See, if I forgot anything... Flap switch, anti-ice engines, parking brake. Do you know your flap position? How much gas you got in your left and right tank? Trim up here. Your fuel pumps. But a great, great plane, guys. Great plane. But all right, guys, I'll let y'all go. I just want to show y'all some how y'all work some cool stuff in this plane. I'll start it up and work the autopilot, set up a basic navigation plan for yourself. I'll do a more in-depth tutorial on this plane. I'll do an RNAV and stuff, setting all that up. But uh, if you're not familiar with the GNS 530, be sure to watch my video. It'll really help you out.
on how to understand all this. But until next time, guys, I'm Pilot83. I hope that everybody's having a wonderful day. Happy flying out there. Fly together, guys. Stand together. Peace. If you made it this far, thank you so much. If you like this video and you feel like I earned your subscription, please hit that subscribe button and that like button so you don't miss out. Until next time, guys, see you in the air.